eye-catchy thumbnails. Optimize your titles and descriptions. Use playlists. Engage with your audience. Post consistently. Promote your content on other social media platforms. Collaborate with other content creators to enable you get more views, watch time, subscribers, and even engagement. I'm sure as a small YouTuber, you have heard this one million times. But in this video tutorial, I want to show you something very different. I want to show you some important settings on your YouTube studio that you need to turn on that you may not know or you just obviously neglect them. And this will enhance your views, engagement, subscribers, and many more. So without wasting your time, join me on my screen as we work together. Okay guys, if you notice that your videos are not being recommended on the YouTube homepage, there is 100% chances that you haven't put on the settings I'm about to show you in this video tutorial. So guys, please pay attention to these settings. First, you just need to head straight to your channel and click on your profile picture. And then click on view your channel. It will bring you to this dashboard here, okay? Now, click on where you have customized channel. Next, you have to click on where you have home tab. Guys, make sure to pay attention to these settings. They are very important. If you don't have them put on properly, there are chances that your videos may not be recommended to your audience, viewers or subscribers, okay? So make sure you pay attention to these settings. Now here where you have home tab, as you can see, it is written here, show your channel home tab to highlight and showcase content for your audience. Guys, just in case you find out that this button is turned off, make sure to put it on. Turn it on, it's very important so that YouTube can be showcasing your content to your audience, okay? The next here you have layout. On that layout here, look at what is written here. Customize the layout of your channel homepage with up to 12 sections. If you want to learn more about this very section here, you can click on this question mark here, and then you click on learn more, you will see more information about the functionality of this very layout here, okay? Now guys, take a look at where you have channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed. Here is where you should put your most view video. That video that is doing very well on your channel, make sure to put it here. Just in case you have no video here, it is possible to change, remove, and even add a video here, okay? To do that, you just need to use this three dot here. Just click on it, you can see option. If I want to change this video, for instance, I just have to click on change video. If I want to remove it, I can remove it and replace with anyone I want to replace with. This very particular video here will be the one that will be shown to people who haven't subscribed to your channel. Now, under here, we have future video for returning subscribers. And then when you scroll down here, you have for you, YouTube recommend fresh content based on your viewers' interest. This is only visible to your viewers when you have enough content. Guys, I'm sure you don't need explanation to that. Now, guys, pay attention to this very particular one here. Sometimes you have the settings turned on automatically. Sometimes YouTube turn it on automatically. But sometimes, guys, it's advisable you cross-check to know if this setting is turned on automatically for you. And to do that, you just need to click on this more settings here. And then it will bring you to this very dashboard here where you will see the features that are turned on automatically. There are cases whereby you might find out that some of these features are not turned on and then you have to turn it on manually but just in case you have your stone on automatically then you are lucky but guys it is highly recommended that you cross check by clicking on that settings button there by clicking on that more settings and you come here to see if it is turned off for you automatically as you can see here it is written what to include in the for you session the for you session will only be visible to your viewers when you have enough content guys take note of that and then here you have content type video you can see my long form video now is turned on here it's turned on just in case you have yours turned off please run after watching this video and turn everything on as you can see here shorts are turned on live stream 
is turned on. Then, guys, here's another important one here recency. Under this recency, as you can see, the first option here is uh, all content recommended. YouTube always updates the for you session with fresh content. And then the second option there is recent content only, content that you have posted in the past 12 months. Guys, make sure to toggle on all content recommended. That is to say, whether you posted the video two months ago, last year, two days ago, it will always be recommended. But when you have yours in recent content only, it means the content that you posted within the first 12 months are content that will only be recommended. Thereafter, the rest content will no longer be necessary. Like content you have about two years ago, three years ago, will no longer be recommended. So guys, it is advisable that you turn on this very particular feature here, all content recommended. With all this done already, guys, you just have to click on this done body here, and then you move out from here. Okay, guys, with that done already, here with this add session body here, it is possible to add whatever session that is missing from your channel to it. For instance, this popular video here, as you can see, is not active. So I'm just going to click on it here, and YouTube will automatically add popular videos to my channel. Click on it and let's see the magic. Can you see, guys? Automatically, YouTube has added these videos here as the popular videos to my channel. Guys, I must not forget to tell you that it's possible to add section and also remove section that you don't want from your channel. For instance, if I want to remove these popular videos here now, just to click on this three button here and then I remove it. But I'm not going to remove it because I think it's something very important. So I'm just going to leave it on. You can add live now so that whenever you are on live, YouTube will alert your subscribers, your audience to recommend your videos to them. Okay. Even if you are not ready to film any live video yet, you can add the session already so that just in case you forget to turn on this feature and you go on live, YouTube will have them recommended already. Okay. So I'm just going to go on it and leave it on even when I'm not ready to film yet. Okay. As you can see here, it is written, this session will appear during live stream, okay? So it's very important you put it on. And then here you have the option of past live streams. Just in case you want your past live streams to be recommended, you can turn it on. You have upcoming live stream, single playlist, created playlist, multiple playlists. Okay, guys, what is this missing? Now I want to add a playlist to this channel, okay? Let me add a playlist to this channel. Playlist is very important for your channel so that when someone finish watching a particular video from your channel, another one will automatically be recommended because with that playlist, after one video, other person's videos will be recommended. And maybe the person that just watched your video will, would like to see more of your content and then do not take the person so much time into going to your profile to start session a session before you can get access to that and we don't want that stress so for that sake we're just going to add a playlist to our channel as you can see here there's option for single playlist and multiple playlists now i will advise you if you do diverse content for instance you vlog and you do tutorial videos i will advise you use multiple playlists so that you have all your vlog video in one side and then you have your tutorial videos in one side but if you are into just only one single niche then there's no need for all of that you're just going to use single playlist to arrange everything under one playlist i'm not trying to say that if you do diverse content you cannot fix everything under one playlist no that's not what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is that it will be better you arrange your videos in accordance if you are into diverse content make sure your playlist for vlog is just arranged together in one part and then you have your tutorials in one side in that way your channel will be more organized okay guys but in this case i just want to choose a multiple playlist and then click on the board so that both playlists will be recommended then click on done as you can see guys in one of the playlists I have almost about 
30 videos available simple playlist for your channel if you created a separate playlist for vlog and a separate one for your tutorials make sure you choose that option of multiple playlists okay guys but this is the second playlist guys as you can see i have three videos here so i have to choose multiple playlists to make sure everything is recommended okay but if your case is different just choose single playlist and then you are done okay guys with all that done already i think i'm okay what you need to do after activating all these features what you need to do next is just to click on your publish to have everything saved guys don't forget to click on the publish button if you don't click on it it's not going to be active okay click on the publish and then you have everything set and done already guys like i told you before this tutorial is a very quick one we have come to the end of the video already i hope this video helps you to organize and customize your channel in a perfect way thanks so much for watching i really appreciate your time i hope you like this video please if you like this video don't forget to put thumbs up in this video share to your friends and family members so that they don't make the mistake of leaving their channels disorganized. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. See you on my next video. Shalom. Bye-bye.